This is my Xiaomi 15 Ultra. And yesterday, believe it or not, I was able to finish the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test for the first time after completing full 20 rounds. And of course, I'm gonna show you the results. And um, how did that happen, guys? Well, I received this update. That is the 20120 old version. By the way, yeah, a bit in a Samsung style, not a lot of information about the change log. They just said, hey, you know, like new security patches, stuff like this. Some people under my comments in one of the videos told me that apparently this kind of enhanced the whole thermal management of the phone. So I said, hey, I have a way of testing. This is very simple. I just did nothing. I put 3D Mark and then usually around round number 16 or 17, the phone goes beyond 50 and yeah, it just force closes the application. And of course we get that sweet overheating message. Now we are at 31.6. Let me show you guys the results from yesterday. The best loop score was almost 6,000. The lowest loop score, 4,542, which resulted in a stability rating of 76.2%, which isn't that bad at all. And check what happens here. Very strong the first few rounds, right? Then we have a dip then stable performance until round number nine, then a dip, and then absolutely stable until the very end. How is this stability rating calculated? All right, we do this 20 rounds, we take the best loop score, we take the lowest one, and then we calculate the stability rating, as simple as that. You can check here the results loop by loop, all right? So this is really how it went. This here is the performance rate where we can compare the frame rates from the best and the worst loop. So you can see here loop one, loop 90. So loop one is the best FPS, loop 90 the worst. Performance monitoring guys, 71% battery to 58. And the phone went from 30 volt Celsius to 49. And of course we got a frame rate of 20 FPS to 43 FPS, which is good. And in this video, I want just to rerun this test once more here on a video and see if my phone is going to survive again or this was let's say a pure coincidence and miracle so what i did i charged it up to like 95 percent we are by the way starting with something like 31 which isn't let's say the best all right almost 31 and now i'm just gonna wait for the magic to happen so it's either gonna pass or fail and if it passes then it's gonna be like twice in a round from yesterday and today and then i'm going to consider this really shammy fixed something or optimize something on the thermos of the best of a foam xiaomi 15 ultra all right let's see what happens and we are already in round number six let's check the temps meanwhile eh, 44 now if we can keep 44 until the end i think the xiaomi 15 ultra will have a great chance of success again remember i finished one so i'm now making sure that this wasn't just some sheer luck but it was really xiaomi's work optimizing thermal management in the latest firmware let's keep going and we are now Finishing round number 10, entering round number 11 at 47.3. So yeah, right. it's looking optimistic, but we're just half through. Let's keep going. And we are now finalizing round number 15. 48.3. If this stays like this, guys, or even goes to 49, which was the case before, then I'm thinking Xiaomi really tried to tame the powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite and make it through this uh, extreme wildlife stress test. Again, guys, it's just benchmarks, you know my opinion, right? We have to do them just to see how much we're gonna get, but you know the relation between the vendors and the benchmarks and synthetic benchmarks. Believe it or not, but we are in round number 20 and we are at 48.6, which is definitely a good indication. And it probably means that the Xiaomi 15 Ultra will get 
to this realm. Now, previous tests like this, Xiaomi would get like 50, 50 something. And also it's worth mentioning that when I was doing this test before, I had like 30 minutes of car X with the CPU throttling test running. So the thing is, when the phone gets to like 50 Celsius, at 51, I guess it will give you the overheating message. And that's not necessarily bad guys, because heat is the real enemy towards battery degradation and also internal components degradation it isn't good if you plan to use this phone for months probably a year two years three years then just avoid going there like 50 celsius is not okay and with that said guys i think that we can now officially say the xiaomi 15 ultra is able to survive the 3d wildlife extreme stress test yeah and wow again no this time even a higher best loop score guys 6173 with the lowest one 4335 and a stability rating of 70 percent which isn't bad let's check the performance started out very strong with the first few rounds a dip stable dip stable a short dip and then regain the performance so overall this isn't isn't bad guys this is the performance rate with the frame rates from the best and the worst loop score so here you can see we're hitting like more than 40 fps here we are down to the like 30 ish battery from 94 to 82 which is also i guess standard and the temperature guys from 32 celsius to 49 celsius just as much as i got last time the frame rate lowest 115 the highest 147 let's try to also put the temperature there so we have now the battery we have the temperature and we have the frame rate and you can see that the temperature at some point stabilizes so honestly, I'm pretty, pretty happy with where this device is right now. And I really hope that this update will soon arrive also for the global version. So the update is 2.0120.0. And this is the old changelog that I got. The latest security patches, I guess, from April. Yeah, Xiaomi 15 Ultra. By the way, if you want to check the camera performance, make sure to watch also my full camera review. Thank you so much, guys. Stay safe. VST over and bye.